As a student at St. Cloud Technical and Community College, each semester you are responsible for registering for the courses you plan to take the following term. This video will teach you how to search and register for classes. Let's begin by going to the main SCTCC webpage at www.sctcc.edu. Feel free to follow along in a separate window. From the main page, click Register for Courses. This brings you to the eServices login page. Log in using your student ID number or username and your password you previously created. If you have never previously logged into eServices, you will be provided this information at Advising and Registration. If you have any trouble with your password, please click Need Login Help. Remember to check this box to display and print your name before logging in. Then click Login. This will bring you to the course search screen. You may begin searching. Let's use the course Art 1321 drawing one as an example. First, make sure you are searching in the correct semester. We'll look for summer 2013 classes. Then, pull down the subject menu Art, and next type in the number, 1321, in the course number box. You can limit your results to open courses or open and waitlist eligible courses. Next, you can click here if you would like to use the advanced search. You can narrow down your results by delivery method, day of the week, time, Minnesota Transfer Curriculum Goal Area, number of credits, instructor, and more. Once you determine your search parameters, you can click search. The search results list the information for all of the courses, such as the course ID number, course title, days and times the course is offered, credits the course is worth, and the instructor. You can click the course title for more information. You will be able to see how many seats are remaining. You will also want to note if there are any restrictions or prerequisites required for the course. If you are unsure whether you meet the prerequisites, please contact your advisor. You can also see what general education requirements each course meets, or you may want to read a description of the course to find out more about the topics that are covered. Click Add in order to add the course to your wish list. When the course has been added to your wish list, you will receive a message that states course has been added to wish list. You can also do this back on the results page. If applicable, you can also add yourself to the waitlist for a course by clicking the waitlist icon. If you choose to add yourself to the waitlist, please check your SCTCC email account often. This is how you will be notified if you are able to register for the course. Once you have chosen all of the courses you plan to take, you can click Continue to Review My Plan. This brings you to your wish list. Until you have fully registered, a seat in the class is not reserved or guaranteed for you. If a course has a limited number of seats, you will want to register for it right away. You may see a warning that says you need to enter your access code. If you already have this, you may click this link to enter it or enter it in the next step. You will only need to do this once each semester. If you do not have your access code yet, you will need to contact your advisor first before you are able to register for any classes. In order to register, simply check the box next to each course and click Select Courses to proceed to register. You will now be asked to enter your access code and your password. Your access code is the six-digit number given to you by your advisor. Again, if you do not have this yet, you will not be able to register at this time. If this is your first semester at SCTCC, you will get this at your Advising and Registration session. Now, enter the password you used when you first logged into eServices. Then click Register. If you are able to successfully register for courses, you will see a check mark with a note that says Registration Successful. If there was an error and you weren't able to register for the course, you will see a red X. If this occurs, please contact your advisor for help. To view your schedule, click View Modify Schedule. To print your schedule, click Print Schedule. And then Open. 
This concludes the video on how to register for courses. Please contact your advisor with any questions.